I'm saying this because when you are applying for a job, you should have it at the back of your mind that you are in competition against certain people that are already well known in this particular industry. <laughs> Welcome back to the Canada Inform channel. My name is Wolo. I am an RCIC based in New Brunswick. Used to be a Manitoban, still a Manitoban. And I will stop saying it once I clock six months in New Brunswick. For now, I am not up to six months in New Brunswick. So that's why I'm still saying it. For people who do not know, so that they know I have moved to New Brunswick. Okay. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and then click on the notification bell so that when I upload a video, you will be the first to know. I talk about immigration. That's my primary aim of being on the internet. We talk about immigration to Canada that will benefit people. And once in a while, I also talk about life in Canada, life experiences and all of that. And the reason why I'm saying this is because somebody has been saying that I'm always keeping secret on this channel. Please, oh, I beg you. I am not a lifestyle content creator. Lifestyle content creators talk about themselves. I don't talk about myself. I rarely do. I do it once in a while and that's just for people to you know learn one or two lessons about me living in Canada but um, in terms of putting my whole life on the internet no I am a very conservative person but if you want to know me except I meet you physically one-on-one -on -one, and you ask me certain questions then I can answer those questions but on the internet I feel that one has to be very conservative that's one number two is that um, if you know where you're going to, there are certain things you don't put on the internet because you don't know if it's going to be used against you in the future, you know, and you don't want to jeopardize your chances of, you know, something that you intend to be in the future. So who knows? I might become the next prime ministress. <laughs> Did I say prime ministress? <laughs> who knows? I might become the next prime ministress of Canada and then somebody will now go and put something from my YouTube channel because I was a lifestyle content creator. Anyway, please just forgive me for that. But um, what I'm trying to say is that I'm a very conservative person and if I share information and I keep certain information private, there is a reason why I'm doing that. I hope you understand. Yes, please bear with me. When I decide to become a lifestyle content creator, then I can be sharing everything in public. But I, I feel that I, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm too conservative for that. Okay, says your next prime ministress. <laughs> just laugh, please. Just laugh because I want you to laugh. Life is too hard. I mean, what is it? Let's not be too serious on this channel. Okay, so let me not waste your time. <laughs> Uh, as you are aware, um, Saskatchewan has introduced, I won't say introduced, well, it's been, they already had the health pathway, but they now modified it, that's the way I see it, I see it as a modification, not that it's a new one. For the agri pathway, yes, it's a new one, but the health pathway is, is not an, a, a new one at all. The major requirement is searching for a job, and for the health talent pathway, most of the occupations listed there are occupations that require licensing. You know, you can't just come and practice. Even if you search for a job, you will not be able to get it because you don't have the necessary license. It's just one or two occupations there do not really need any form of licensing. Like the managers in healthcare does not need um, any licensing requirement. The home support worker, caregivers and related occupations does not also need any licensing. Um, if you have the educational qualification, you can go ahead and start searching for a job. The other occupations that are listed there, which I'll put on the screen, they all need licensing. I mean, like specialists in surgery, specialists in clinical and laboratory medicine, general practitioners, vets, vet veterinarians, <laughs> dentists, optometrists, you know, all these health occupations, they all need some form of licensing. So the first logical step, which I would always recommend, is to start the licensing process. If you're a medical doctor, if you're a pharmacist, if you're a vet doctor, anywhere, if your occupation is licensed, right, under the health talent pathway, the first thing you should do is to start the licensing process in Saskatchewan. They all have their licensing bodies in each province. So for medical doctors, I know you could just go to the physician supply and start the licensing process. For the other ones, you have to go to the provincial body to see 
what they have to start the licensing process. If you start the licensing process, at least it can help to a certain extent it, in the sense that um, if they, if you meet an employer who wants to hire you and the employer asks you questions around your licensing, you can always see your licensing is in progress, you know. Um, once your licensing is in progress, there's a possibility of also getting, you know, some form of green light that you could be hired once you have gotten your license. So the first step is actually to get your license. Apart from the two occupations that I mentioned that do not need any form of licensing, every other occupation under the health talent pathway needs licensing before you can even get a job offer. So now the second pathway, which is the agri talent pathway, um, has about 10 occupations. And I mean, of course, you know, with agriculture, some of them require some form of expertise and some educational qualifications for you to even be able to secure a job offer, but some do not. And these occupations are material handlers. I mean, if you're a material handler, you don't need any form of educational qualification for it. Specialized stock workers and farm machinery operators, livestock laborers, harvesting laborers, nursery and greenhouse laborers, process control and machine operators, food and beverage processing, industrial butchers and meat cutters, testers and graders, food and beverage processing, mechanical assemblers, and inspectors, laborers in food and beverage processing. Now, um, these are the 10 occupations that are under this pathway. And of course, it requires a job offer. So if you're able to get a job under any of these occupations, then you can apply for provincial nomination under the agriculture talent pathway. But I want to bring to your attention that some of these jobs most Africans are not competent to do these jobs because we do not have the mechanized facilities. Some do, some African countries do, but um, not all. It's just that there are people that are dominating in this industry and I'm going to mention their country. I'm saying this because when you are applying for a job, you should have it at the back of your mind that you are in competition against certain people that are already well-known in this particular industry if they want to consider people for job offers they will consider them first before they will consider you that is from nigeria i'm saying this so that you can be aware so that nobody can go and deceive you that oh they will help you get a job as this and that especially when we do not technically do not have the machineries in place to do all these jobs for material handlers yes people can do it for specialized stock workers and farm machinery operators i'm sorry not everybody can handle it Livestock laborers, yes. Harvesting laborers, mm. but I'll mention, I'll mention the countries, like I said. Number one, you have the Filipinos who are very good at specialized livestock work. They are very talented in this area. Number two, you have the Jamaicans. The Jamaicans, you give it to them when it comes to harvesting laborers. For the animal part of agriculture, the Filipinos are dominating. For the plant part of agriculture, the Jamaicans are dominating. So, you know, when it comes to getting a job offer, you know that you cannot compete with these people. The people that own the job, they would consider the Filipinos more. They will also consider the Jamaicans more in any of these categories over you that is coming from Africa. It's not as if you will not get. I'm not saying that you cannot get. It's possible for you to get. But in terms of people that they will want to consider more, they will consider the Filipinos more. They will consider the Jamaicans more um, in terms of um, these kind of jobs. But I'm not discouraging you. If you have the expertise, if you are confident that you can work in any of these areas, go ahead and apply for jobs. Now, the next step, which I'm going to talk about is where do you search for jobs? I will put the link of the website. Typically, you have to go to Sask Jobs because this pathway is a Saskatchewan pathway, which means the jobs are actually in Saskatchewan. The main job bank is the Government of Canada Job Bank. That's all the provinces advertised there. But anything that has to do with Saskatchewan, you see it on Sask Jobs. So I'll put the details on the screen. If you're looking for a job under the Agricultural Talent Pathway, look for a job from Sask Jobs. And if you're able to get a job offer from an eligible employer, then you can then apply for provincial nomination. Of course, you have to also be immigration ready. So when you're looking for a job, 
do not start your job search without being immigration ready and by what i mean by being immigration ready is that you should have written your ielts and you should have evaluated your credentials so that you can be immigration ready yeah so this is the information i said i was coming to share today and um, i hope you've gained something from this video so if you feel that you are competent enough to search for jobs and land a job offer that will give you provincial nomination please go ahead and do so uh, because saskatchewan is actually looking for people in these areas thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye the true of all the land of freedom oh, oh, oh. here we are